Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Focus Hive. It's an interesting episode today because we're going to make our life a little bit easy. We are creating reports and dashboards on Google Sheets day in, day out. And then we struggle in sending it to the audience. Either we have to download it manually and put it on our emails and send it manually on a recurrence or maybe write a script. But in this video, we will talk about an add-on which solves the problem. So let's go and check it out. All right, so in here, we are in our Google Sheets and uh, we have a file called as Automate Report Delivery. And what we have here is a list of book titles, their authors and number of copies. Uh, pretty much the library stock. We want to send this report on a daily or a weekly basis to a certain recipient. And we don't want to go and do it manually. Now, how do we do that? Voila, we got extensions for it. And that's where Google Sheet is rocking. So go to extensions and uh, we will try to search for Schedule and send email in spreadsheet. That's the add-on that we need. We'll click on that and we'll try to install it. So schedule and send email in spreadsheet needs your permission in order to start installing. By clicking continue, you acknowledge that your information will be used in accordance with the terms of service and privacy policy of this application. If we want to go ahead and read the terms of service and privacy policy and then click on continue. All right, so it sees my account that I'm logged in with. I select that. So it wants to access following item. So this will allow schedule and send email in spreadsheets to see, edit, create and delete all of my Google Drive files. View and manage spreadsheets that this application has been installed in. Connect to external service. Send email as you. So it, it might impersonate me. Allow this application to run when you're not present. That's the use case. Display and run third party web content in prompts and sidebars inside Google application. So these are the permissions that this application needs in order to automate your use case. So we'll go ahead and click on allow. Go next and um, let's say done. All right, so it's installed now. Let's get rid of that screen. We have our data here. This is what we want to automate as an email. It's a sample data. Don't judge me for it. Now click on extensions. Click on schedule and email in spreadsheet. And then click on manage schedule right now again good amount of advertisement on the on the uh, add-on which is about you to upgrade to pro so as of now i don't want so it also gives me a flexibility to just remove that there is support there is tutorial if you want to learn more about this add-on go to tutorial and you could read now what we have to do is we have to first create a schedule all right so it says new schedule and then over here you have enable edit send now i am going to click on edit schedule you could give it a name monday or test delivery 
demo just for this purpose but you could name it the way you want it right if you want to have this report sent every monday to your team so name it accordingly you want to send it on a thursday to a another team or another group of people name it accordingly so then you could come in and kind of manage each of those schedules separately so i'm just putting it as a test demo all right now in the schedule what all settings we have we have export settings we have email settings and we have schedule settings so let's first click on edit export settings so why we have to export uh, so when you're sending an email out of your google sheet do you want to attach your report as a pdf document as a csv as an xlx you got to choose that format so that it can export your data in that format attach it to the email and send it and along with that you could also choose which sheet within your uh, google sheet would be sent out do you want to send all of them or do you want to send one of the sheets that you have in this example on this google sheet named automate report delivery i have one sheet called as sheet one now i am going to choose xlsx as my attachment file format so you'd see that it'll it says individual file per sheet right if i had sheet one two three four five i would have five attachments in my email now just for the sake of looking at the settings if i select pdf it will ask me to select the paper type the orientation it will also ask me the margins the formatting headers and footers and uh, various settings that you would need for your pdf but let's keep things simple uh, let's just say excel sheet is what i want and i want my google sheet one if i want to give it a name like a custom name i could so all right library stock as of today you want to take a look at how it will look so you can click on preview and i think it has downloaded a report over here that is what you get right close that out now let's save that all right so your export setting is done now you have to select who you want to send it so let's say edit email settings So it's going to come from the account for whom the google sheet is right so i'm logged in with my primary account and uh, it will also ask me to put my name or i could say let's see what happens how does the email look like right who do I want to send this email? So let us send it to my different email address. All right, I don't want to CC anyone, but if I have to look at the advanced setting, it just shows about BCC and reply to and all of that. So I want to give a subject. today's library stock
all right you could uh, insert dynamic values you can uh, play with that with current date or instead of as of today let's put current date so it's gonna put the date of the report delivery now there's a unique now there's a special option here you could say save it to Google Drive and you could select a folder so I'm just gonna say go to this folder All right now what it does is like if you want to keep a track of your reports that you're sending on the schedule that you're setting and if by any chance someone missed that email or deleted that email and they want to look at the snapshot of that point in time then you could pick the file from this folder and share it uh, because obviously your file is going to change over the time and uh, every schedule will send a new version of the file and it will also save the file in the selected folder so over the period of time you'll see multiple version of the file based on the date and time so that gives you a flexibility to go back in time and look at what the data was All right so we save the email settings so we're done with export we are done with email settings now let's look at the schedule that's the important one right because um, that's what the use case was that is where we want to kind of invest some time and see how to put the schedule in right so again click on edit schedule setting so add one or multiple schedule to automate your reports click on add schedule now over here you could set hourly daily weekly monthly annually or just once depending on your choice I'm gonna say weekly and uh, this was a Monday report right so I'd say Monday what time so it will use between 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. there are certain pro settings that uh, would get enabled if you had a pro version but I think this is good enough for us right now so we chose weekly repeat it again it's a pro version that we want to repeat it one week or not so it's just going to keep go keep on going right it's it's not going to stop unless you come in and um, remove the configuration or delete the file so i would say click on save now if you want to put it monthly which day of month right yeah so you could choose from like if you are sending it monthly you want to send it 10th day 15th day last day of the month you could choose that so right now i'm just going to keep it weekly and i'm going to keep it monday or every week on monday at 8 a.m to 9 p.m the report should go out let's save it right this is one schedule you could create another schedule well if you had pro so save it <laughs> that's it I mean that's pretty much uh, in terms of configuration but you want to like uh, test your email right so let's click on you have a button called as send email now so email was successfully sent to one recipient you probably have 99 email recipient left today just an estimate of Google's limit so this is a free version of Google account that I have so probably it gives me 100 email limit for a day so every day I'll get 100 email recipients but uh, <coughs> I think the paid version of the Google workspace gives a bigger limit uh, which I use for my day job uh, I've automated some reports that keep on going everywhere uh, so that's that's pretty much but you'd say hey show me the report how it looks like right so let's go to my email all right 
Yep, library manager sent the email. So the library manager has sent it. Who's the library manager? This is the email address we had set. And we had set the name as library manager. So that's the reason why you would set the name. And uh, it came to this email address. So hey Ravi, please find the attached. Please find attached the stock details as of the date. Cool, right? Cheers, library manager. And you've got your report attached here, right? So you see library stock as of today. This is also the file name that we gave in the export settings. And that's how you get your report delivered through Google Sheets. Hopefully, uh, this will help you find some more time for yourself and reduce some of those mundane tasks. So see you next week. Thank you so much for joining in today and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.